All right, now we're on to the fucking wackiest video ever. 24 hours with that vegan teacher. Jesus. We are not. I'm going to skip around in this. Eat your vegetables. How dare you take an animal who never did a single thing wrong to you and chop them up into pieces. I forget that she exists sometimes. Dude, I, I, I just forget that she exists. This is the vegan teacher, AKA Miss Katie, AKA self-proclaimed animal rights activist. She is a 58 year old woman from Montreal and happens to be probably the most hated woman on the internet. I don't think anybody hates that vegan teacher. She's kind of a meme, you know what I mean? Like, I've never hated her. Like, she could be a bit annoying. I know this firsthand because she berated me in 2022. I want to emphasize that my goal throughout this video is to get to the truth of who she is as a person. Bro, I really should have done this. Ben got to it first. I should have f***ing, I should have, right when she sh on me, right when she sh on me, I said, bro, I'll fly out. We should do it. We should do a weak VOD together. I was one of the first people that ever had beef with her. Because she was on TikTok initially. Then she got banned. Then she made a YouTube. Then she didn't beef with me for like eight months. And then she made like four consecutive videos about me. And I made a few videos about her. She asked me if I wanted to rent her house. That was the second DM. Um, I politely declined because I don't need a house in Montreal, Canada. But anyways, for about a week, every single day, we called and like talked for an hour about veganism and what we were planning on doing. But she invited me to stay at her house. In fact, she said, don't- Yeah, no, actually, in hindsight, he seems way more respectful. I would be a dickhead. Like, just because, like, bro, if, if her, if she had all pissed me off, I would just, I would just start spewing shit. Like, I would not be able to keep calm. But the day I left, I had texted her three different times asking what the address was to no avail. So I landed in Montreal um, with no place to stay, <laughs> no reply. I sat down in the airport and finally called her and- Is this famous Ben of the week? This is? Is this famous Miss Katie? I, I, it is. Did you just land? So, I took a taxi to Bro, her she house. doesn't seem that mean in real life. Like, I'm looking forward to seeing how she actually acts. It's true. Oh, wait, no, he would have to be vegan for a week. Yo, you're bugging. If I had to be vegan for a week, uh-uh. All gone. We had such a short chat, and then she showed me to my room. It was bright and cold. Damn, her house is so vibrant. She got Tweety Bird on the fucking, on the fucking dry machine. It's, it's quite the cozy place. You're gonna tell me you can look at that little guy and say this isn't a cozy abode. It's a cozy abode. Um, we met, talked for a few hours. She gave me a tray of vegan food and tomorrow. Nuts and celery. Those are empty. Oh, that's a blueberry. You didn't, you didn't even touch your almonds. Ben, Ben, you didn't even touch your almonds. That's the only protein you're going to have for the next three weeks. Now, while I was asleep, Miss Katie made several videos like... Right now downstairs, Ben of the Week is having a nice little sleep. One of them was her crying to footage Yo, of... Yo, see, that would make me so uncomfortable. Now, that would make me... Bro, she just, she just literally said, Yo, Yo, he's living with me right now, by the way. This is where Joe is. Yeah, no. I've been Googling ways to tie him up. I miss YouTuber, Ben of the Week. Is downstairs sleeping. They're, they're, they're stuck there. Being Dude, this is so psychotic. And the other was a video showing off my shoes. Um, Put his shoes nicely, one beside the other. He didn't just throw them. These are them. Yo, she gripping up my shoe. Yo, nah. I would not be able to do that. I would not be able to live with her. Bro, she's touching my shoes and shit, making videos with my feet. Nah. And she later told me that she put my shoes on and was walking around the house to see what my shoes felt like. Um, and she did this at 3 a.m. So it was really interesting. <laughs> Anyways, the next morning I woke up at 5 a.m. and I was ready to start my day with her. Damn, it's snowy as shit. Nice almond breakfast. Yo, you think that vegan teacher smokes weed? Bro, that dog's cute as hell. One of the things I first noticed is she uses this made up word called schmernard a lot. She's sort of more the schmernard one, the more sort of calm-ish <laughs> So how would you describe schmernard? Oh, S-H-M-E-R-N-E-R-A-D. Schmernerd is like this um, in-between emotions. So like, that's- Is that a real word? The emotion between boredom and another emotion. Sort of like stunned look, like, and you haven't yet figured out what you're looking at. Like sometimes when- He literally just said made up. Yo, that's crazy how there will still be a definition for made up words because Urban Dictionary exists. We were about to walk her dog, Bella, but then she showed me her happy pet path outside her home. 
the bicycle path where before I was vegan, I started putting up different animal names in our neighborhood. And one time, the strangest thing, just to talk about vegan phobia, uh, we have a camera down there, you can see? She oh, wow. There's a hidden camera. And we, we saw a, a woman and she was going by. She stopped and she just grabbed the poster and ripped it. No. Yeah, just for no reason. This is how triggered people are about veganism. Hmm. I wrote here, take a photo of this so that people can... You know, I was walking in Walmart the other day and I saw somebody purchasing ground beef. I said that they were uh, the equivalent of, like, you know, a murderer. They were like the equivalent of Jeffrey Dahmer. I, I called them a psychopath. And then they they punched me in the face for no reason. Uh, no, it is her yard, though. They shouldn't rip that off. Uh, I sorry, will actually yeah. agree with her. Uh, it's her yard. She can do whatever the fuck she wants. Found in the garbage that I just uh, painted? Yeah. I feel like this is a bit extra, though. I don't really think that many people are going to stop and fucking read this. I said to my husband, I'm going to put the sign up because it's so... Bro, I did not know she had a husband. <laughs> I think if you want to make the argument that vegans are weak and malnourished, you can't really do that with her because I could I couldn't catch up. <laughs> All right, Ben. I yeah, Ben. I understand you being nice, but like she's like sixty. Like like you're not. You're like you're telling me you can't outrun her, Ben. You're telling me you can't. You tell you tell me you can't outrun her. Really? Bro, I, I would dust her in a fucking race. I, <laughs> she could fucking go 50 fucking meters, and then I could start, and I would still beat her in a 100-meter race. When people find out about Bella being vegan, they automatically think that she's just eating celery and cucumbers. They don't realize that she eats just vegan dog food, which is the same, looks the same as any other dog food. This is what vegan dog food looks like. Here you go. Want to try? Sure. What's it made of? Plants. Pea protein and everything. We could go for it. Okay. Yo! I didn't know. I thought she fed it, bro, because all the other videos, she would show her feeding her dog, like, celery and shit. I didn't know they actually make vegan dog food. I didn't even know that was, like, a genuine processed thing. I have no water, just in case. I would eat that. I want to give a fuck. I, I've eaten regular dog food. Oh, my God. It's harder than I thought it was going to be. Hmm. Oh, sorry, Bella. Bella, come. Come here. We ate before Bella. <laughs> Yo, dogs would eat anything, though. That's the issue. Yo, that's the issue with dogs. You ever, have you ever seen anything that a dog wouldn't eat? There's not many things a dog wouldn't eat. So we started talking about the vegan diet, and I brought up the concept of eating bugs. And she had this to say about protein. Protein is just not that big of a deal. It's like people. What? Well, especially the one that they really hate me about is they say, well, I have an eating disorder, so I can't be vegan. And I say, mm, you know, yeah, you can. Because if your eating disorder was that you thought you needed to eat cats and dogs, what would what would your psychologist or therapist say to you? That was the worst counterpoint I have ever seen, bro. Oh, my God. And if I'm him, bro, I've had arguments in person with people about politics and shit like that. When they say some dumb shit like that, you, you can't just say, oh, you're stupid. You got to like lean into it and be like, yeah, I know what you mean. And then give a counterpoint. Eating disorders is something where they have like issue, like eating disorder. It could be like a, a, a psychological thing, but it could also be an eating disorder in the sense that like, oh, they literally can't eat certain foods. And so when they can't eat certain foods and some of those foods have to be things that a lot of vegans eat, they can't be vegan because they wouldn't get the nutrition that they need without mass amounts of supplements. You saying, oh, what if they're eating disorders, eating cats and dogs? What? That I think that most eating disorders are really thinking disorders. Oh. Right? Um, you know, as sad. Yeah, she about to start getting into the whole disease is just a need for spiritual renewal. If you catch the flu, you never need any treatment. You can find treatment by meditation and fucking uh celery like, like dude as someone that has had an eating disorder boy i wish i just thought of something else all of our problems where we have these addictions and everything they are all thinking disorders like we think we need this thing it's gonna make us feel better and we need to get to the, the root of the problem i think 20. oh that, 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 20. Bro, that dog is cute as hell though <laughs> i love i love her dog <laughs> 
So in the morning, I come to my bike and I just ride slowly while I wake up and I, I watch different things. So he said, like, he just said, good morning, everybody. Guten mm. Morgen miteinander. I know, okay. I know a little bit of German, right? <laughs> Sprechen so, Sie Deutsch? I'm busy. Do you, do you know some German? No. <laughs> okay. I can also try and see what Ben of the Week is up to if I go to home, right? Breaking news out of Iran. Oh. Judge Abdul Rasem Salavati, also known as the Judge of Yo, Death. her fucking, bro, her fucking For You page is probably drastically different than everybody else's. Yo, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start skipping around here, chat. Sure, on purpose to buy this, just to upset me. Now, I noticed that she had a piece of meat in the bottom of her fridge, which is an interesting thing to keep around. And when she noticed that I noticed, she said... Hold on. Actually, stop filming for a second. Okay. This was put on my windshield by some mean person. When this person put it there, I, I came back to my, I just parked my car and then was, I guess they saw me getting out and they recognized me. So they went to the store on purpose to buy this just to upset me, which it kind of did. I believe her though. Now I, I know I actually believe her. I actually believe her. I actually believe her. I don't think she's capping. Chat, you're saying she's capping, but I don't think she is. I think, I think she didn't know what to do with it. If she's such a hardcore vegan and somebody puts a piece of meat in, like, in her windshield, if she throws it out, that's wasting it and that's disrespectful to the animal. And if she keeps it, it's also kind of fucked that she has it. So she doesn't know what to do. I think somebody probably actually did do that to her. Because, yo, you know you guys would do that. You know you fucking would. Half the chat said I would do that. Half the chat just said, oh, yeah, I would put a fucking Slim Jim in her fucking windshield. Yeah, you definitely would. You fucking bunch of assholes. Talking about, oh, yeah, she's capping. Nah, I, I don't think she's lying there. Is it okay if I film you? You're gonna pay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, we, we will be paying. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay? No okay, good. I'm trying to uh, raise awareness about what happens to the animals, you okay. know, that they, that they suffer. I, I don't want to watch this. I already know this is going to be a tough watch. Can we skip? Oh, this is gonna be a tough watch. Hold up, let me hunker down. Let me hunker down. You know when you start, you know when you, you know when you start a video and you already know it, it's like so awkward and it's just gonna get worse. What do you think about eating animals? It depends on what kind of animal. Which ones do you eat? Me, I, I eat beef. I eat. So you eat cows? Cow, exactly. Okay. They made for that we, <laughs> to, to eat them. You think that we are that animals are made for us to eat? Oh, this is a hard watch. Oh my god, and he was there. Oh my god. Dude, I would go in a turtle shell. I would do exactly what he's doing. I would fucking I would fucking put my hoodie up. I would tighten the strings. I would fucking hide. Oh my god. Oh my religion, so I don't I don't discuss those uh, issues. And God had said pig for Muslim is Forbidden, then I have to respect what God said. But did God explain why? Ooh, nah, don't be knocking. Don't be knocking Islam. Oh, God damn it. Oh, God damn it. Yo, this is this is getting harder and harder to watch. Yo, now y'all say skip. Y'all tell me I can't skip it. And then when you realize it's a hard watch, oh, now it's a skip. Sorry, but uh, I don't want to get into this discussion. Okay, uh, is it written in the Quran? It is. Yeah. Okay, so the so I would have to look there. He just said he don't want to talk about it. Do you think that if you were born in a Christian home that you would think the same way now? Are you proud of your religion? Oh my God, he's not talking. I would not move. I would ask to get out. I would ask to get out. I'd, I would actually, bro, you know what I would do? You know what I would do? You know what I would do? When, we, when she gets out of the car, I would give him a hundred bucks. I swear to God. I'll give him a hundred bucks. I would say I'm so sorry that you had to fucking deal with that. Because it's not like he was he he was welcoming this confrontation. He picked you up as his job, and now you're like like literally just like fucking pestering him. Now I thought that uh, almost naked man running in minus twenty degree weather would be enough to derail the conversation. Nope, she got right back to it. Um, there are many Muslims who are actually. Oh my God! Oh my God! Uh, Chad, I can't watch this. Chad, I can't watch this. I'm, a, I, I, I'm, start, I'm starting to fucking skits out. I'm starting to skits out. How much longer is this? Treats the world like every single person is her little toy to make an example out of why you should be vegan. And then she had <laughs> the audacity to text me while we were in the car that she wants to get out because she's scared. Now I was absolutely petrified in that moment, but if my soul. <laughs> 
what, like the nice Muslim Uber driver is going to harm you? He did nothing wrong. He just said, yo, I don't want to talk about this. I would have said, hey, dumbass. <laughs> it's almost like getting into someone's car and shoving your iPhone in their face and then going on and to- And shitting on their religion. Hey, thanks for the Uber pickup. By the way, I think it's kind of fucked that you're not vegan and I don't like your religion. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how that conversation is going to go. She then noticed that there was a ramen restaurant right next to the, the vegan restaurant and it had the little pig on the logo. Um, so you put your glasses on, you get new glasses, and then you can decide where do you want to go? Like the place that is full of, you know, life and, and plants that didn't feel any pain. Or like you want to go to a place like where they, they, they have a pig there. Bro, they got ramen though. Oh, which one am I picking? Copper Branch Vegan Restaurant or Ramen? Bitch, I'm picking the fucking ramen. Oh, okay. Ben of the week who is ordering all the food for us. So excited. We're here with the famous Ben the week. He said he was going to order all the food I ever wanted. Can I have one of everything on the menu? He also possibly offered to pay my next electricity bill. Listen, I've spent a lot of time in Los Angeles around the most hardcore influencers who film every second and every minute of their lives. And being around this woman, <laughs> they have nothing on her. You should be vegan, you should be vegan, you should be vegan, you should be vegan. But like, there's more to life than that. Is there a day where she's like, not talking about being vegan? You know what I mean? Like, even if she's still like doing the vegan activity, like, is there a day where she's like, not walking around telling people to stop eating beef? Dude, whenever she watches a movie, like, or TV or anything, and they're eating, like, chicken wings, she probably turns it off. You should be vegan, yeah. I would mack that fucking Slim Jim she had in the fridge if I was staying at her house in the middle of the night. It's 4 a.m. It's 4 a.m. All, you, all you've eaten in the last three days is almonds. Be fucking grabbing that shit. So we ended up spending like about an hour just chatting. Um, topics included her asking me if I was circumcised, and when I responded, she replied with a tangent about how she thinks circumcision is horrible, and then went on about how people think she's anti Semitic because of that. This is somebody's ribs. This was someone, someone who they murdered and they cut up their bones. This was someone with a personality. Bro, if I was at a grocery store and I'm trying to grab this fucking beef on the second rack and all she's doing is just feel, this was, this was alive at one point. This was, this was a pig's bones. Like, I'd say, yo, lady, can you move over? I'm, try I'm trying to grab my damn chicken here. Uh, can you move out of the fucking way? God damn. Oh, I'm not dancing with her. Oh, I'm not dancing with her. Yo, I, yo, that's where I draw the line. Yo, I'll go to the vegan restaurant. I'll sit in the car while you pester people. Yep, not dancing. It's over for that. Hit the vegan boogie. Oh, yeah, I like your hands going out like that. <laughs> but anyways, uh, this is what she found for me. Look, it's this beautiful dress bag. Yeah, never wear that. It's going to look so beautiful on you. Never oh, wear let me that. tell you. No. Oh, look, this is going to be perfect. A mouse to tie up the dress around the waist to sort of give it some sort of, you know, style. Yo, if he puts it. That is the ugliest dress I've ever seen in my entire life. Like, that is grandma shit. Blink twice if you need help. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no way he had a fight with her. Nah, Ben, you okay? Oh, I'm so sorry for you, Ben. Did you kidnap him? Ben looks so traumatized. Naturally, we're a weird combo for people to just open their phone. Yeah, that ain't no milkshake. That's a bean shake. That's the fucking pinto bean shake. Yeah, I'm not eating that. And when we were out at lunch eating the vegan burgers, she, she just puts her phone in my face, and it's... Replying to a comment that says, Ben, blink three, three times, times if you're held hostage. What? What? 
do you think? What kind of person do you guys think I am? Ben, can you believe that? Look what they're saying to you. They think that you are held hostage. <laughs> Yo, he blinked three times. It's like, you should do what the comment says. I was like, ah, so I just blinked three times. And I, and I thought people would take it as a joke because I'm 160 pounds and she is like probably 60. But those three blinks started a chain reaction that I still haven't fully processed. Bye, Burger Fiance. Delicious. And it got worse from there. We're about to go live and she showed me her process and her schedule for the day and her filming setup. Which oh my is God, she's got fucking sticky notes. Research. You'll be better Famous. than mine. So here's my, here's my state of the art. <laughs> Tripod. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so here's how it's going to go, right? You have to come in, cuddle in. Come on, okay. pretend you like me. Get in there. <laughs> what does it say on Ben's necklace? Look at this. What does that say? <laughs> it says vegan. Bro, and the low quality of the video just makes it look like he's kidnapped. The low quality of the video makes it look like they're in some basement in the middle of fucking nowhere. Yeah. Like, Ben, if you, you know, leaned over and tried to, like, you know, you turned into Dracula and were trying to take my blood, I would, like, defend myself and I would... To the point so where I it, like, yeah, just like a fly, like a mosquito. Boop. Yeah, I mean self-defense. If you were trying to take my blood, I'd kill you. Um, last time I checked, this is my take on killing bugs. If they're in my house, they're free game. If they're in my house, I can kill them. If they're outside, I won't hurt them unless they try and hurt me. Flies can't kill you so the the self-defense thing doesn't really check out there but I, I digress um and i know another kind of like criticism that like a lot of people give you is another video you made on your channel oh there it is you have a a doll of a black girl and then you have the the n words like spelled out as like an acronym which word is that that you're talking oh! about oh! 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 oh my gosh you almost said it oh my god which n word um, I don't think I can say it. And why is that exactly? Uh, because I'm not a Bro, she almost said it there. Yo. It's that it applies to. Do you actually believe that yourself personally? That you should be allowed? Should there's certain words that, that certain people can't say, but other people can say? I do think that, yeah. You do? See, that's where we fundamentally disagree. I think that there are no words. It's out of respect. Words that I should not be allowed to say, and you should also be allowed I to I understand she's saying like, oh, what I'm saying, like, oh, the word shouldn't mean something bad, okay? But there's people that use the word in a very demeaning sense, right? And it also has a very long historical background, not just the N-word, but other racial slurs, right? And so sitting there and being like, oh, yeah, no, I could say this. No. Like, even if you don't mean offense by it, it's still racist to say it. And I don't think it's necessarily not being able to say it, like not physically being able to say it, but I think it's kind of like a sign of respect to the people that it offends. That's what I just so said. So if there's nobody in this room right now and we say a word, except there's just you and I, how does that offend anybody? It's, it's the idea that you shouldn't say it at all. Even if they're not there to hear it, it's the respect of it. It's the same thing. It's even worse than this, but it'd be like talking shit behind your friend's back. Just because they don't hear you doesn't mean that it's not wrong. Don't say the N-word. You said the N-word, W-O-R-D, okay? Do you understand what I'm saying? Now what, is that going to be bad? Because it equals the first thing. No, it doesn't. The N-word that used to be the N-word with the dash that doesn't have a dash name. Like, it's ridiculous. Gotcha. Yeah, going to pause the brain rot right there. Um, you're a white lady named Karen. Oh, yeah, fun fact. Her name is actually Karen. Um, found that out as I was leaving her house. Reclaiming the N-word is what black people can choose to do. Not what you think you can do as a white lady in the fight. The only thing I don't like is the fact that he didn't say that then. Why did he wait for the post commentary to confront her? Like, he, I, if I was in this conversation, we brought that up, I probably would have argued with her then. Like, if she kicks me out, she kicks me out. It's whatever. Like, I'm fast forwarding through this. Is the rest of this a fucking interview? Her house is ugly as fuck. Yeah, I don't know if I rock with a puke green chat. Are you all fucking rocking with a puke green? Mm. All right, I'm going to end it here, though. Like, I'm literally going to end it here. I, I, I really don't want to watch the rest of this. You can be vegan right now. And if you do it, you can be completely healthy. But you can also be pescatarian. And you can be vegetarian. You can even just cut out meat one day a week. Because it's your life. 
and you can do what you fucking can. Like, literally, literally summarize the video as a whole. Big dub. All right. Next, man.